In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options infography slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've added a headline in the center. When I click, it will show me the first option with the icon, the title and the detailed text. When I click second with the different color combination comes the option two, the option three, four, five and option six. So it looks kind of a geometric design. I have created one more slide with a black background. So you can see here the background is black and the font is white. And then this will come one two three four five and six so depending on the requirement either you can take the light color theme or the dark color theme please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the block arrows, I'm going to choose this one, which is arrow pentagon. Just click it here and then I'm going to make the height as 2 and the width as 3.85. And you can see the small orange point. This one just drag this outside. It should be a little bit curved like this. Then align center, align middle actually i should align it here okay and then shape outline make it no outline then duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and rotate i'm going to make it you can see here we have got rotate uh, flip horizontal and then just place it here and i'm going to duplicate this one more time for my later use now for both of these shapes i'm going to the shape format merge shape and i'm going to make it as a union and i'm going to give some light colors here then bring this here and for this i'm going to reduce the height and width both okay so let me just reduce it you can hold the alt key and you can reduce also all right so here also i'm just reducing okay something like this and then duplicate this also again flip i'm going to make it flip horizontal and i'm going to put it here all right and for these also go to the merge shapes and make it a union so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to keep only the light blue color the outline only the rest i'm going to delete that one okay so in case anything goes wrong then i can have a copy so for that i can duplicate the slide and i'm going to work on this okay so first of all select this shape hold the shift key select this shape the blue dark blue go to the shape format merge shape and make it a subtract so i end up getting a shape something like this again make sure that this is align center align middle okay press ctrl d to duplicate again make it align center align middle and i'm going to give some different color just for the understanding okay so now i'm going to rotate this by using the alt and the right arrow key by hitting four times okay hold the alt key and one two three four times okay Press Ctrl D to duplicate. It got duplicated again. Let me just give some different color here. And then Alt 1, 2, 3 and 4. Four times I have to do something like this. Alright. Again for the you know if something goes wrong for this I am going to make it duplicate once again. Now the next thing which I am going to do is I am going to select all the shapes by pressing Ctrl A or you can just highlight it like this also. Okay. By holding the shift key also you can highlight and then select okay or you can just simply click press a to select all the control a actually control a to select all the uh, objects then go to the shape format merge shapes i'm going to make it a fragment just click on the fragment and then i'm going to delete i don't want this one you can see here i'm just deleting this inside also i'm deleting all right here also i'm deleting this one you can see here then I'm going to delete this, I'm going to delete this, I'm going to delete this, this and this. So I and this one also. So I end up getting a shape, something like this. And you can see here, this is all a separate objects now. You can see here and sometimes here the objects are so small that you cannot even see also. Okay, something like this also. So anyway, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to group this. So you have to remember 
there are certain objects where it is very small for those also we have to select something like this okay first of all select this shape hold the shift key select this as well then here again you can highlight this as well as this okay so you remember that i'm going to select all this okay and then i'm going to merge shapes and make it union and i can just give any color of my choice maybe i can just give this color blue okay so now again you can see here now this is one again i've got one here one all this one are there okay so what we need to do is we have to carefully we have to select otherwise if you don't select you cannot group it properly okay highlight this one and this one go to the more shapes union and you can just give any color of your choice i'm going to give this now this one hold the shift key this and sorry this one has gone from the actual position yeah let me just try once again this 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 and merge shapes union just make sure that it is properly aligned so this is not copied you can see here so again i can make it union and now it is perfect so i can just give any color here i can just give maybe a kind of a pink all right then let me just select this one highlight this area highlight this area this one you have to click you have to hold the shift key okay while selecting this one and then again union it and give some different color which is i can just give this color and then i'm selecting this one highlight here highlight the corners you can see here you have to highlight the corners and then this more shapes union and i'm going to give some different color here maybe this and then remains the last one select this 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 and make it a union so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give some different color combination to it So once this is done, I can just go to insert, click on icons and choose the icons uh, depending on the requirement. So randomly I'm going to choose some six icons. You can see here, I'm just randomly choosing some icons here. And this is fifth and maybe this one sixth. Click insert. It got inserted, move aside. I'm going to make the height and width as 0.7 and you can just give some a gray color or any color of your choice depending on the color selection so i'm just going to put it here all right so as you can see here i'm just putting some random icons here and then it comes here and once this is done go to insert text box i'm going to say title i'm going to choose a font open sans uh, extra bold center align then go to insert text box again equals lorem within brackets one i'm going to delete some text from this long text center align reduce the font size to maybe 14 all right and then i'm going to place it here exactly in the center select both of this press ctrl g to group it Control D to duplicate. I'm going to put this one here. Control D. This will come here. Control D. You can see here. And then comes here. And then the last one will come here. Alright. And then in the center you can just add the headline. Again I'm going to choose the same font, open sans extra bold, if you want you can just increase the size, center align and put it here, again any font color you can just choose it and make sure it is aligned center. So once this is done, see the animation, so the, the design is okay, it's uh, done now, completed, we have to do the animations. To do the animations, go to the animations, enable the animation pane. I'm going to select this first here for this add animation more entrance effects you can use any animation you can see here we have got peek in we have got basic zoom you have got different different uh, things are there okay so I can just choose maybe a uh, peek in 
click ok peek in i want to peek in from left so it comes something like this okay and then add animation more entrance effect i'm going to make it basic zoom should happen from out and this should happen with previous so if i play it comes something like this all right even this also you can just change this animation to same animation which is uh, basic zoom okay and you can see here it looks something like this and then this one add animation more entrance effect stretch click ok stretch should happen from left and should happen with previous again so if i play it comes something like this now using the animation painter i can just copy the animations so select this one click on animation painter okay this will come here then second using the animation painter then the third one okay so now again copy this one click here again for this and then the same okay so if i play it comes something like this all right so the remaining animation effects you can just copy it here using the animation painter option